I want to talk about running my races. Kukimbia bio zangu. Na Mungu akusaidie kwa sababu katika hii dunia kuna mbio kama tano sita hivi nitakazo jaribu kukuelekeza uh, kulingana na neno la Bwana. And I want to say this some races are important and some races are not important. Eh, ujifundishe hilo jambo kwa sababu kuna mbio unaweza kibia. Mwisho wa mtu akuulize eh, okay umekibia. So what? Utasema nini? Okay, kukibia ulikibia, ukafika mpaka mwisho, umehema hapo, uh, lakini haukuwa kwa timu, haukuwa biwa ukibie, hakuna mtu walikuwa nataka ukibie hivyo. Sasa, by the end of the day, kufika ulifika, lakini utaulizwa maswali. Kuna jama moja, eh, aliabia uh, Joab, wakati kulikuwa na vita katika Israeli, uh, wakati uh, mtu anaitwa Absalom, alipidua serikali ya baba yake. Na akaubiwa wewe wacha kwenda wacha kutaka kukibia leo wacha tutume fulani akasema hapana wacha nikimbie akaambiwa wewe leo sio siku yako tutatuma fulani kwanza na wewe siku nyingine utaenda na yule mtu alitumwa kwanza akatumwa na akaenda ubali lakini huyo akainsista akasema wacha tu nikimbie hata mimi niko na kitu ya kusema akaambiwa haya basi kimbia njia ndio hiyo so akafika mbele ya Daudi ya mehema akafika akaulizwa E, kuko namna gani akasema by the way hata sijui <laughs> because he had no idea why he was running and he had no report praise the name of the lord so akabua daudi akabua kuna mwingine anakuja akasema basi wewe ka chini kidogo wacha tugoje yule anakuja so the guy who came had a report this one who came first had no report he won the race but the wrong race Eh, unaweza shinda hata unaweza kupata vitu ambazo of course ulikuwa uta, utaonekana mtu shujaa sana kwa sababu umevipata lakini by the end of the day it was not necessary for you it was not your race so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about running my my races na nataka uone eh, bio kadhaa ambazo eh, tutaangalia baadaye lakini tusome tu neno kidogo for the introduction today Hebrews chapter 12 Waebrania 12 na tuanzia msari wa kwanza basi na sisi pia kwa kuwa tunazugukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii na tuweke kando kila mzigo mzito na dhambi ile ituzingayo kwa upesi na tupige mbio kwa saburi katika yale mashidano yaliyowekwa bere zetu e, anasema kuna bio imewekwa bere za watu sasa nitakuonyesha bio tano eh, siku ya leo nitazitaja tu and then we shall continue evaluating one of one, one at a time eh, in the course of time lakini kuna mbili ambazo sitazungumza sana nitakupea tu eh, eh, maneno machache because they are the unimportant races in your life haufai kuzikibia hazifai zikusubue hata kama watu wengine wanakibia unawachana nazo so anasema tukimbie bio iliyowekwa mbele zetu kuna jambo moja ambalo nataka ushike. Every man has a race to run. Every man ambaye unamuona katika dunia ana mbio, ana mashindano ya kushindana. Namba tu, nitasema hivi, every race has a price. Kila mbio mtu ukimbia ina gharama yake. Na kwa hivyo ni kusema ukikimbia the wrong race, you pay a price for no reason. You will pay a price utalipa gharama uta, utafanya mambo utaonekana watu watakujua lakini gharama ile umelipa ni ya bure tu haikuwa necessary kwako number three, i want you to understand every race has a reward hata ile utakibia rongre ina thawabu yake e, na thawabu inaweza kuwa disappointment kwa sababu ulikibia ulifika lakini by the end of the day there was no reason for you to run so there is nothing that you are given and that and nothing becomes your reward Bwana asifiwe. Unaweza lipwa nothing, unaweza fanya kazi na usipewe chochote, lakini ulifanya kazi, ulionekana watu walikujua na watu walikuwa pamoja na wewe. Hata walijua vizuri wewe ulikuwa hapa, lakini hakuna kitu ulipata kwa sababu ulifanya the wrong thing. Praise the name of the Lord. So, ninaomba Mungu akusaidie kwa sababu bio za maisha ziko kadhaa. Now, vile vile ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba mwenye kukimbia ndiye huamua bio zake. Every person decides the races to run. 
ni vizuri ujue isipokuwa bio moja ambao nitasema baadaye eh hizi bio zingine ni mtu uchagua ni gani utakibia ni gani utashidana e, unashidana na nani na mambo kama hayo praise the name of the lord so uweke hilo jambo ya kwamba bio ni nyingi vile vile ni muhimu kwa kila mtu kujua hivi kuna vikwazo katika bio ya kila mtu there are hindrances in every man's races ni bio gani unakibia kuna vitu utakutana navyo ambazo hugetaka. Haungetaka ziweko lakini zinakuwa hapo tu. Huwa zinatokea. Huwa zinapatikana katika hiyo jia. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to mention some of the races briefly so that you understand mahali ambapo tutaanzia. Kitu cha kwanza na bio ya kwanza ambao ninaita the unnecessary race ni bio inaitwa the race or the, the race of competitions. The race of competitions and i want you to mark that word because uh, when i call it the race of competitions ni bio lakini una ni ku compete tu na compete now i want to say this one you compete with other men unaanza kushidana na watu do you know there are races ambazo za mashidano na watu ambao huna shughuli nazo why compete with others why do you have to why why do you want to be like so and so because in life kuna barabara mungu amekuitia and you are not necessarily to be like Joroge or Kamau or Otieno or whoever. You are on your own. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo unaweza kibia bio za watu wengine umeona watu wamechomoka na wewe ukawafuata lakini haujui waendako. Haujui ni nini kimetokea. Bwana asifiwe. Ni kama ukawa town na let me educate you a little bit. Uwe town usikie commotion before you run. Kwanza goja uone kwanza agalia vizuri. Inaweza kuwa ni wezi wanakibia na wewe ukibie. <laughs> Alafu mshikiwe na hapo bere usemekane walikuwa pamoja. Tunakukuta na tairi tunajaribu kusema huyu ni dada wa kanisa. Tunaambiwa ni dada lakini anajifanyanga dada huko. Wamekibia grupu moja. Ukweli wa mambo haukuwa mwizi lakini ulikibia na nani? <laughs> Maana unaweza kuwa unashidana na watu ambao haufai kushidana na wao. It is a race of competitions. Praise the name of the Lord. Just because watu wananunua magari it might not be your time to buy one. Keep your race. Kimbia bio yako. Usitishwe na watu. Watu ukisikia wanasema oh my house, my what, my what. Thank God for them. Smile. Waambie asante na shukuru na shukuru kama ulibarikiwa na gari asante sana. Kama uko na nyumba yako na shukuru lakini wasikuweke pressure. Te unaanza maombi ya nyumba baba ninatangaza hiyo nyumba naishusha. Haitashuka. Umeanza kukibia bio za wengine. Amen. Run your race. Kibia bio zako. Kuna bio za mashidano. Uachane nazo. Watu wakitabiri kwa kanisa, wacha wale wanatabiri watabiri. It is not a must that you be a prophet. Hakuna mahali miandikwa na hata Paulo kuna mahali alifika akasema, sote tunaweza tabiri lakini hatuwezi tabiri wakati mmoja. So arao mwingine atabiri na wewe utatabiri siku yako ikifika. Can you don't compete mpaka mtu aki uh, sasa ibada ikisha usalimi mtu maana alikupita Ulitabiri bere yako kwa nini kwani haujui nilikuwa na, na nilikuwa nasikia ujube hata si tunausikia dada brother we have the message <laughs> Usikibizane na watu utachokea kwa jia Amen utachoka utakuwa frustrated utaanza kusema watu ni wabaya na si wabaya ni wewe unakibia bio za wengine Hallelujah Ukiona vitu vyafanywa si lazima wewe uwe part to that. Oh. Bio hii nimesema si sitaieleza sana lakini usiingie katika hii bio. Ushindane na watu. Ushindane na wale ambao wanafanya. Amen. Na wacha nikusaidie katika pande zote. Hata hata katika doa si lazima ushindane na watu. Katika doa hata mtu anaweza igiria doa yako na uache kushindana na ye. Wewe utakufa na pressure na ataingia kwa hiyo nyumba umetoka. Bwana asifiwe. Sometimes you live like a, like a fool. You don't know. Maana bio hiyo ukianzana naye, wewe uliolewa. Si unajua umeolewa? Ai, wadada, si umeolewa? Si unajua bwana yako? Hii mtu ya ya ingine inakuja hapo katikati. Inakusubulia nini? Kula vizuri, kaa vizuri, tebea vizuri. Maisha inasoka. Hiyo si kusema tumepea wanaume barabara ya kufanya vile wanataka. Lakini kuna haja gani ukufe? Uache watoto wako na, wa, na mama huyo ambaye alifanya ukufe. Alafu wanawagoga anawaambia tawaua kama vile ulikufa. 
Na ni wewe ulianza kukibizana na ye Ukaanda kushidana na ye vili anasema Maneno hili anasema Unamikishwa umesikia na umemuadikia ka message Wakine mpaka unabeba kisu na muabia Kuna muadja wetu atalara moshali Wewe wachana na watu Wewe rara kwa nyumba wacha yule anta kurara moshali ya hede ya rare Habari zenu Unajua kuna mambo inasubua watu na nibule Praise the name of the Lord Sasa muzee yuko na meno that too Migu umiwiri macho mawili anatoka asubuhi anakwenda utafanya nini na ameenda na amechagua mtu na huko wewe ishi maisha yako omba kata mipango ya kishetani lakini usikufe na stress have i ever given you a story ambao nilisikia ya dada mmoja ambaye yeye mzee aligia katika habari baya akaanza hata kumutusi na kumuita majina Na zaidi ya hiyo alipoona mama hatingizwi hateze asubuki akaigia akapea wanawake wale anakunywa na wao anawapea namba ya mama wanampigia wanamtusi wanamuita majina na yule mama nilisikia hakuwahi kukata simu hata siku moja ati akate juu na tusi eh eh tusi tu maliza ukimaliza utaenda likizo wakamtusi wakachoka mzee akaona ni kama asikii kitu alichukua sasa simu ya nani ya mzee dia alikuwa anapea wanawake can you imagine umepigiwa simu hello my dear oh, unaweza my dear kitu gani mwanamke anakutusi na simu ya bwana yako na mama hakuwaibadilika kwanza aliabia soja watchman kwa gate asiwahi fugua gate kama ni mume wake anaingia atajifugulia gate can you imagine huyo mtu ambao unafugulia geta ako na watu na huko na unasikia vile wanakutusi? Naona wengine wanasema dirogeria. <sighs> eh, ne jaribu hiyo maneno. Huyu walifanya, akafanya akawa mzuri. Mzee anafugua gate na mzee akifika anaenda pale ile anamfugulia murango wa gari. Karibu sana my dear. My dear huyo huyo anafugua murango, anamuigiza kwa nyumba, anachukua kama kuna tuvitu kwa gari, anaenda anamtoa viatu, anamwekea mahali zinawekwa kakoti ya nahang mahali kanaperekwa. Yaani alafu anampikia vizuri wanakula na hajawahi kwenda kurara kama mzee hajafika. Huyo running you are race. Not allowing others to take you down their race. Because unaweza enda biwa ambayo itakuua na ukikufa ukifika biguni huwa nakwambia utaudwa mijeredi kwa sababu ya kukufa ovyo ovyo. Nakufa tu. Wewe hujasoma Biblia mtu anaitwa eh, nani? Abna. Mkuu wa majeshi ya Saul. Si aliuawa na nani? Na dugu ya Joab. Eh? Alipouawa Daudi alilarua guo. Aliuliza hivi Abna, bona umekufa kama mujinga. Kwa hivyo unaweza kufa kifo ya mujinga. Ya mujinga ni kusema huu kufa kukufa lakini ulikufa. Ulikubali kushindana na mashindano. Mama wacha tumalizie hiyo kastori. Aliendelea hivyo mpaka mzee sasa siku moja aliigia na mwanamke kwa nyumba. The matrimonial home. Sisi kama tunaelewana? Eh? Akakuja naye. Mama kwenda kufugua geta naona gari iko na watu wagapi? Mmoja ni yule wake mwingine ni mgeni. Akajua sasa hapa kumeharibika. Lakini afanye kitu akawafugulia hata alipofika akafugua akafugulia mzee na akafugulia eh, mwanadada. Kaambia mwambia karibu huku diko kwa baba Joro. Akasikia sauti yake akamwambia, "Oh, we dia huwa tunaogea na ye kwa simu." Maana alikuwa regi yule yule wa matusi. Paka amemaster sauti yake. Wakaingia kwa nyumba, akampa kiti akategeneza kachai ya karete na akawawekea na akauliza dada ni kuwekea vijiko gapi ya sukari si ya poison ya sukari ni kukoroge na akamkorogea akamwekea dada anakunywa tu kachai chakula kikaretwa na anaanza mastore na huyu ehe okay karibu he huku diko tunaishi he hata umefanya vizuri kuja kututembea you know mtu abaye hakibibio yako ana kibia yake not running your race Mwishowe saa za kurara zikafika akapeleka mwanadada akamuonyesha mahali ya tarara na akamuonyesha bafu akampea tauro mzuri aoge vizuri alale vizuri na akawacha baba Joro ajichagulie kule atakwenda <laughs> Sio kumwambia ukiikia huko <laughs> nimeenda Hakuna mbio ni yangu ninakibia I'm running my race Praise the name of the Lord So mzee 
sijui ni nini kilimkula alifuata mke wake hakuenda huko kwingine akafuata mke wake wakaenda asubuhi kuamka akaenda kuangalia mgeni hakuna anashindwa mgeni aliyeda aja anaenda kwa mke wake anamwambia umenifukuzia mgeni anamwambia mimi nani ametoka mbele ya mwingine hapa wewe na mimi nani ametoka bedroom mbele wewe labda kama umemfukuza mzee akatoka akagudua oh mrango hata imefuguliwa akaenda akakuta soja akamuza he mgeni wangu akaabua mgeni aliyeda mapema kama za kumi na moja hivi anamuza akaenda wapi akatoka alisema ameenda tu akampigia simu mwanamke alimtusi mujinga ya mwanaume mtu ako na bibi mzuri kama huyo alafu unafuata vinyangalika ya watu kama sisi We ni mtu aina gani huna akili akatukanwa akaambua na uswai nipigia simu tena yani hata yule akajijazia udi ya mujiga yule mwanamke mwenye hekima running wa lakini wewe unakibizana na tuitu msichana mpaka wengine umewekea mzee spice wewe ogokuwa gototiga ogokotokere ya gima utakufa utatuacha huku tukikula ugali hiyo tabia umejiwekere rani wa res huyo mtu ako na meno dhate tu na akili zake ni soba anajua vile anafanya waachana na ye. kibizana na Mungu kibia maisha yako rani wa res haleluya so Mungu abariki sana so see the race of competition wacha just because mtu sijui alinunua gari mpaka hii ndio inafanya ukikibia hii bio ya competition ndio watu wanashikwa na wivu kinyongo kwa moyo kuna watu hawezi salimia because moyo umekasirika juu fulani sasa ndio wanawaambia hivi please wapedwa tuelewane mtu akinunua gari haiwezi toshia kwa mfuko ni yeye huingia kwa gari na atakuja naye na hiyo si maringo unataka tufanya nini tulibarikiwa tutakuja nazo uzione hata ukiogea vibaya bado tutakuja nazo hata saa hiyo ingine tutakuja na ingine haleluya lakini ukitaka kujua unakibia bio za wengine ni hiyo kiwivu unasikia kiwarui kipada juu mtu ako na gari mpaka unafinyilia hivi ili kiingie ni mtu anakibia bio za wengine lakini ukikibia bio zako hautasubuliwa na mtu juu ako na magari hata akinunua ine unasema gai he yani mungu anaweza pia mtu gari ine He na hata mimi najiona. Unapanua parking unahama kule kaproti ile huwa nakwambia ile ya kuigiza mguu mmoja mbele alafu ingine inafuata. Unahama huko ile ya kuruka mitaro unasema kama fulani yako na magari hata mimi nitapata wacha nihame. Lakini sio wivu kinyogo mugu na unasikia hata watu wengine wakiogea ndio unajua. Hii mtu anakibia bio za wengine. Sasa mtu analiga na mashuma hapo na hezi jua anaweza heda hivi na na akose hata kurudi na sasa wewe ni murogi na kama usiwahi tamuka maneno kama haya ujue waganga wakiitwa utoke arogi magetwa dukana tige dukana gekumira wewe ni murogi unaroga watu watakufa sasa unataka tufanye nini tumebarikiwa tumenunua nyumba unataka tusiseme tutaita na house warming haleluya hata tutakuja tutoe sadaka ya shukurani amen hiyo si maringo ni kubarikiwa wacha kukibizana na wengine barikiwa na ile umebarikiwa aim higher look forward to greater things hallelujah but always remember run your tell your neighbor run your race forget about my race 